right so what i am trying to demonstrate here is uh, we are right now in the bank most of us in the bank audit now this is the data minimum data we get like loan amount interest outstanding sanction date and term as per sanction letter we don't get it but we need to physically look at the documents and then plot it here and then emi now i don't know the uh, financial modeling formulas as to find out based on the emi based on interest rate and loan amount i need to find out the term for which the loan is given which is not given as a part of mis statement so what i am trying to do here is i am taking the help of i am taking the help of chart gpt just a moment so now i am telling um, chart gpt that i am sharing a simulated excel data which has a column labels which we have just now seen this column labels then based on the information given calculate the term of each loan by adding a sixth column to the given table in a downloadable excel so i just copy that and then this is where i have added i can add this excel i am i can add this excel that is how i have added this excel here not to waste your time here i have already added here and then this command is already written i'll rerun this command again if it is taking too much of time i'll tell um, which is already been done i'll just demonstrate the downloaded file actually <clears throat> now it has started working on its own i don't know what is uh, commands on financial modeling sometimes it will take lesser time uh, yeah now it is saying that uh, five columns it has calculated and it is adding the sixth column to it so i i've just taken a small number of files but uh, you can uh, you can add even 10000 lines to it and then create simulate what could have been the number of emis for which loan has been given based on the um, interest rate outstanding loan amount etc then we can compare that with the uh, documented emi documented uh, rates let me just see yeah now it's trying to download the excel if it is taking too much time i have already done it i'll uh, download that file this is yeah now it has given the file i am just taking it yeah now i am just putting it as now i have already done that so not to overwrite i have just given some time here now i am not asking any formulas here i am just asking it to given the input and then i am asking it to given output to it and now you can see that yeah i'll just open that file this is a sixth file just now generated around 541 now you can see it has given the sixth form time the term for which loan is given is given is provided here now this comes out of how is this given here now it has used nper is the formula that is used in excel but i don't know how to use nper and all i am only asking it to give the uh, code based on that code it has uh, executed and readily available file this has given and further further i can again ask 
assuming I'm performing an audit on so-and-so date, add two more columns to it and give me in one more Excel. Now I give one more command to it for asking for determining the NPAs in it. So not to waste time, I've just uh, done it before coming here. I've just copy pasted it. So how it is adding those two things, it is giving me the uh, another Excel, adding two more columns to it to validate it. Let it be any number of rows. Initially, it may take time. Once I keep this code ready, for any number of branches, I can simulate this without even bothering about the number of, without even bothering about the code, formulas, and so on and so on. Yeah, it has given here. Now it is preparing a table to download it in Excel. Yeah, I'll not, uh, I'll, I've downloaded it, but ultimately why we do all these things is for the purpose of getting the NPAs. So finally, I have written a formula here, uh, a code, not a code, a prompt. Now to find out what are the, whether it is NPA or performing. So I've asked here for each row, the resulting number may be ninth column may be added as the difference between the document date and what you have calculated. And if the difference is greater than, if the difference is greater than three, then make it as a, uh, make it as an NPA. Minutes. Yeah. So once I have said that, now this is the last, this is a file which has give, given, you can just see just before I've come here, it has generated and it has given here, now, whether it is performing or non-performing, the system has given. So ultimately, we are using ultimately we are using AI. Ultimately, we are using AI as the functions of chartered accountant is to collect information, summarize and classify, analyze, interpret, decision making, and reporting. Now, what AI is doing is AI is also doing the AI is also doing the same. Let me just, sorry. AI is also doing the same job, collecting input and process. We have just seen, we have given an input. It has done a process and it has given the output in no time, arithmetic and logical operations. More than that, not only that, it is giving the decision. Finally, what we have to do. Not only this, this is where the Statutory audit will end. Now from here, the internal audit where continuous monitoring, continuous control monitoring can be done by writing a code wherein it, if this is exceeding, stop the transaction. Like, you know, you are giving a buzzer where to stop my lecture in the same way. Once it exceeds, the automatically the system will stop. This is what I said I thought is very important. But all that depends upon the way in which you create the way in which you create the uh, prompt, that is very important. I just revise what I've done. So I have given the uh, hidden, this is all for hidden reschedulement. I've given a sample input. Now it has given the term. Now auditor needs to check with the master time records. Up, time up. Yeah, sorry. Thank you very much for your uh, patience. <laughs>